and you have all this kind of thing, you're just out of tune with that environment. You know, we put a frame around a picture, but we think of the frame to suit the picture. Well, if you have a frame around you that doesn't suit the picture, you break the frame. Sometimes I think that I must have been stupid because I was like a horse with blinders. I only knew one way to go. I think the most important thing to living is to do it, no matter if a plane comes and destroys it or whatever, but you must go on working. The texture of material is very important, at least to me, you see. When a car goes over a piece of wood and it comes out with all sorts of things, dents and things in it, those are my drawings. Well, what's the use of drawing them when it's much more direct? doing it the way I do. It's immediate, it's true, and it, it's there. There's never been any question, but never. My work has revealed to me what I want. It's the work and I, it's not the public and I. The public is a reflection. One has to have courage, really, and one must gamble with life to really move into the areas where they can fulfill themselves. Now, New York, for instance, is my mirror. New York, for me, is unlimited, just totally unlimited. And no matter where I go, I just find that I want to come back to New York because some of us could not fulfill ourselves elsewhere. Some people need a wide stage. When you encompass the whole city, it becomes a great 20th century work of art. I remember my mother, she said, you know, art is a, you know, very difficult life. And she said, you won't live as well as you could otherwise. I said, well, it's not how I live, it's how I finish my life.